Hello again guys and welcome back to Nat's Tech Time where I do tutorials, product reviews, and cover the latest in tech news. Today I'm going to cover how to save an iMovie project. Okay, as you can see here, I'm running iMovie version 10.1.1 and I already have a project ready to go and ready to be saved. Here in this case I'm using a cloud time-lapse piece of video. <clears throat> it's a short clip but it will render faster for purposes of a quick demo here. So once I have a project ready to be saved what I do is go to file at the top left while I'm in iMovie, and down to Share. This is not what you might expect, especially if you're coming from a Windows environment. But here, going from Share and down to File is how you'll save your project. So I click on File, and you'll see it brings up a window with some options here. So first it gives a description of the video, tags it with the term iMovie, which I'm going to leave those alone. Format, video and audio. So to make a selection here, if you wanted just the audio from this piece of video, you could choose audio only, but I want both audio and video from this clip. And then next, importantly, is resolution. If I select there, 720, you'll see, is the highest I can pick here. 1080p is grayed out, and that's because of the setting that I shot this video on on my camera. So I'm going to choose the highest resolution possible. And next is quality. This is important. Uh, I have high check marked here. You'll notice that if I go from high at 6.39 megabytes down to best or pro resolution, it balloons up to 39 uh, megabytes, about six times the size. And you can imagine if you have a piece of video that's uh, a gigabyte or two in size, how much larger that's going to be if you make it ProRes. And if you're putting it on YouTube or on the internet, you may not really be able to see the difference anyway. So I leave that at high most of the time. And now compression, I go the other way. There is uh, two different options here, faster and better quality. I will wait a little bit longer for the project to render uh, in order to get a better final project, uh, final product. Faster, maybe faster, but you may also wind up with uh, a skip in the audio or video. Um, I just choose better quality and I'm willing to wait a little bit longer for the file to complete, uh, to be rendered. So I'm going to choose high and better quality and click on next at the bottom right. Cloud time lapse is the name it's given. I'm actually going to add to this because I have a few versions of this saved already. Uh, it'll ask me where I want to put it. I can tell it where I want to save the file to, and I'll click Save. Now you'll see in the upper right hand corner here a little uh, pie chart. It's uh, similar to a status window um, showing the progress of your project being saved. And it'll fill in rather quickly here and be done in only a few seconds because it's a short clip, only uh, I think four seconds long. So you see the pie graph kind of completed itself and now we get a pop-up saying that the share was successful. Remember we went from file and down to share. So exporting my project was successful. If I click on show, it'll show me the project here in the folder where I told the computer to save it. And there you are. My project has been saved. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, because every Tuesday on Nat's Tech Time is Tutorial Tuesday. We'll have another tutorial next week.